Hey there, friends. I hope that all of you are having a delightful... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know. Wednesday! <laughs> Wodensday. Happy Wodensday, friends. Um, Woden is... Odin was the daddy of Thor. So, Thor's daddy's day. There we go. I hope all of you are doing really good. I've got three flow pockets to add to the shop today. I um, I am not going to the post office again until December 27th. I think that it, it perhaps might be safe then. <laughs> so that's the next time that I will be mailing my friends. But the shop will remain open through the holidays. And I am creating every single day and putting some things in the shop for you guys. So let's get started with this flow pocket. This one is called Goddess. And we do, I'm going to take you in, so close your eyes. Okay, we're all good now. Goddess is pretty self-explanatory. She thinks she's a goddess, friends. Um, she's a fashion model. She has all of the delights that that sort of um, that sort of lifestyle brings to you, and uh, there is another small picture right here, a black and white that also says goddess. So it's a lot of fun. This also has uh, one of the high speed trains that I rode when I was in Italy, which I got to tell y'all was the it was the most fun experience riding those trains. It was just an absolute delight. This pocket is called The Cause. This is Mrs. Carrollton. Mrs. Carrollton realized that she could run a boarding house. Now, the boarding house has been subsidized by the government, and the government is sending her all sorts of very interesting characters for her boarding house. Here we see uh, a man with a woman's hat, and he's playing a fiddle, and we've got some gingerbread cutouts right here. And Mrs. Carrollton is trying to discover the cause of why the government keeps sending her a bunch of crazy people at her boarding house. So there you go. That's a big story right there. I love this picture. I call it 22 because it kind of reminds me of uh, these people obviously are about 22 and 22 um when I was 22, I had a three-year-old, so there you go. <laughs> I don't think they have three-year-old three children, but, you know, maybe it can make you recall when you were 22. This is a pocket called History, and it has some ABC thicker stickers right here. It is um, a little bit of... Um, Baby doll ephemera, along with a picture of a little girl holding one of the dolls. So you can really create some history around something like that. Um, this is Adrian, and this is Chris. They are sisters, but they do not discover their sisterhood until they are on the battlefield at opposite ends of a battle. Now, Adrian has the word imagine tattooed on her left inner wrist. Chris has the words live true tattooed on her left inner wrist. As these girls are doing battle on the battlefield, they are amazed to see these tattoos on the left inner wrist of each one. And then they realize that there's something about them that is not allowing them to kill each other. And then they realize that their mother put those tattoos there on their wrists. So opposing forces, lightness and darkness, Adrian and Chris, sisters but did not know it. This is a pocket called Trisha's Garden. This is Trisha, and these are all the things that she wants in her garden. It's a really beautiful, fat, chunky pocket that has a lot of garden ephemera, butterflies, birds, that sort of thing. This is Harriet, and she lived at the Haverhill Inn in Haverhill, New Hampshire, but she also died at the Haverhill Inn in Haverhill, New Hampshire. She died on Christmas Eve, 
And it was a very mysterious death. We don't know exactly what happened to her. But every night, every um, December 24th, she comes back to haunt the Haverhill Inn. And people pay, pay big money to see Harriet at the Haverhill. She walks down the corridors with this beautiful candle. And she's reading... Um, a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And it said that if you are there and if you believe in her, you will see her and she will grant you one wish. So think about your wish before you go to the Haverhill Inn. This pocket is called Pleasure. Uh, fresh flowers, uh, snuggly PJs, nighttime with the beautiful stars and a book to read. To me, it just doesn't get much better than that. This is a pocket called The Voice. This is Victoria. Victoria has a beautiful voice. And she lives in a time when that's very valued. But what Victoria wants to do with her voice is she wants to be an opera performer. And her mom and dad do not know it, but she has been taking secret opera lessons and wants to have a career instead of getting married or marrying the right guy or marrying into money or anything like that. She's not interested in that. She is interested in pursuing her own voice. This is a pocket called Quiet. We see a teacup. We see a lady in a beautiful... It looks like a, um, a, um, a tea dress. Uh, it says quiet, just a, a, a kind of a reflection on uh, being quiet. And what are the things that call you to be quiet? Is it a nice cup of tea? We never know. To me, it's a nice cup of tea and a nice, uh, a nice cup and saucer. That, that really makes me still and quiet. This is Randolph, and Randolph has been, um, he is supposed to be taking care of his boss's house, you know, like checking in. His boss is on vacation for a whole month. Well, Randolph has kind of just moved in to his boss's rustic retreat, and we can see just such a happy look on his face. He's having a nice glass of tea. He's reading a magazine. So, Randolph, uh, I think he's kind of like visiting La La Land. I think he really wants to be his boss. This pocket says visit. We've got a 1992 Dodge van, uh, an actual TV. I love the daisy in the bottle. So where are you going to visit? If you could just climb into a van, where would you visit? This is Evelyn. And Evelyn... Um, Evelyn's parents, the Osbournes, and we see the evidence of the Osbournes here. They're keeping a tally of how much money Evelyn is spending because Evelyn is supposed to be pursuing an education, um, and she is not, friends. She's pursuing a wine event is really what she's doing. There's an E for Evelyn. There is the word enjoy, and there's Evelyn with this gigantic bo bottle of wine right here. Osborns are not happy. This pocket says beachside and features some mermaid ephemera in here. This one says dream. And this is um, Harriet. Harriet dreams of being a professional horsewoman. That's really all she wants. Um, you know, we, we look at Harriet and we look at Victoria and we think that those ladies were born in a time where all that was expected of you was to marry advantageously. And we see these women wanting to be more, do more than just marry well. This is the word best, and it seems from childhood. Maybe it makes you think about your childhood. This has really got to be one of my favorite pockets ever. Um, this is Fiona, and Fiona um, is walking away from her wedding in the snow in her beautiful wedding dress. She's decided that that is just not for her. She could not get up the, the courage to tell her fiancé she did not want to marry. Not just him, but not want to marry at all. So we call this fairy tale. E, um, Fiona did not want the fairy tale, my friends. All right, let's look at our next pocket and see what kind of stories we've got to tell. This is a pocket called Carried Away. This is Catherine, 
and Catherine's mother died when Catherine was born, but her mother comes back in spirit and does anything she can to carry away the small child Catherine. So at night, when Catherine falls asleep in her little bed, um, all of her animals come out and guard the child through the night to keep her malicious mother from stealing her away from this life and putting her in the afterlife with her. This is a pocket called Secrets. This is Mr. Silas, and Mr. Silas lived in the house that this little girl's mom and dad live in now. Now, he was an accountant. And he's very stern. You can see him right here. He was very stern to his daughters. And his daughters grew to hate him. But um, his portrait keeps him alive in this house. As portraits will do. So if you're going to buy a portrait, be sure and clear it before you bring it in your house. Um, but this little girl who is living in the house now, he is very kind to her. Her parents are not kind to her. And he comes uh, as a ghost and he takes care of her. He makes sure that she doesn't get hurt. He gives her encouraging thoughts and things like that. So um, even though their relationship is secret, it is a beautiful and sweet relationship. Uh, these two got married at a space capsule in a space suit. They're a little crazy, but that's okay. That's a good way to start out a relationship if you're crazy. This is a pocket called Hope. With Hope, we can see that there is um, a teacup here. Um, there's also a rhinestone here. Now, let me tell you about the pocket Hope. When you take everything out of the front of this, you will see that it is um, a picture of um, the chest of a young woman. We can see that her fingers, her fingernails were once painted, but now they're chipped and cracked, and it, her fingers are quite dirty. Um, the necklace looks like it is an exquisite pearl, real pearl necklace. Her um, sari veil is ripped. This is about women in Afghanistan, and there are um, there are several more images in this in this pocket, um, her only hope and her solace at the end of the day is a nice cup of tea. This is called Studio. This is Steve and this is Sasha. And Steve makes these exquisite um, carvings. We can see some of these carvings back here. Sasha is his office assistant. Isn't she pretty? Mm hmm. Okay, you take it from there. Discover the Northwoods. I don't know how this pocket fell together. I love the image of the um, the old hurricane lamp. Uh, I have been reading a lot about the kingdom in Vermont, and it does have some ephemera about that in the pocket. This is the pocket that says corner. Now, here is an escaped convict, and here is a cowboy. The escaped convict is holding some yarn, so the cowboy can do a little bit of um of knitting here this is kate and she runs this asylum and these two are two, just two of her inmates that she has to take care of um they've kind of found their own little corner in the world uh, this is a pocket that says dreams this is a beautiful couple who wanted to open a winery and did it they pursued their dreams. I love this pocket. It says dramatic changes, big and small. And we all think about that this time of year. I think we think about those changes, you know, things that we want to do or not do as the new year approaches. This is Anastasia. Anastasia is a fashion model. Doesn't she look just happy? She is not. She loves her life in the arts, but she does not like being a fashion model. She feels like a fake plastic person. Uh, this pocket says all the best. Uh, this is a fussy cut of a woman's hand, and she's holding a glass of champagne. Um, I think we all want all the best, and sometimes we just don't know how to get there. Uh, not that, like, drinking champagne is going to help, but... Um, it's, it's hard to explain about all the best. And and then it, that makes you think, what is the best? What is the best? You know, that's a very comparative thing, right? Um, this is Wanda. 
Wanda is a film actress, and unfortunately, her film acting career has kind of taken a, um, a turn um, because she has started doing movies that are not so great um, just to make the bills because she's determined that she is not going back to Nebraska. Um, so Wanda is um, not feeling very whole these days. And I think no matter what we do, friends, sometimes we, we are we are losing our wholeness. So that might make, you know, you think about something. Write it down. This is, what are we going to call him? Let's see. Let's call him D'Artagnan, just because I love that name. This is D'Artagnan, and his family has been, um, his family preserves old books. And they have always written down everything that had to do with these old books. But now there's fighting in his area. And D'Artagnan is encouraging his family to memorize the books, kind of Fahrenheit 451-ish. Here we see a fashion model, and she's talking about new looks. I want a new look for my hair. My hair... <laughs> is past my waist. It is really, really long. I don't mind long hair, but it is way too long. So I'm kind of looking for a new look for my post-60 hair. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, it would be nice to have a new look. Um, this is photo. We see old black and white model photos back here. Uh, and then we see a modern models photo right here. This is a pocket called Create, all about the garden. This is one called Country Living, and it features a, a fabric element that has a chicken on it. <laughs> Love this. This is Mrs. Anderson and her son, Alfred. The Andersons lost Mr. Anderson uh, in the war, so now the mom is just trying her best to raise her son alone by herself, and just absolutely refusing to take help, even when it's offered to her. Alfred, this is a Sunday morning, an Easter morning, and Alfred has bought a beautiful orchid for his mom because he has a paper route. All right, we've got one more little story pocket. This one is called Child, and it is a child, and she's holding one of her dollies right here. Just, I, I think this makes me think about um, the fact that I didn't have dolls. <laughs> I much preferred to um, play cars, you know, with my friends. And they weren't girls, so I didn't have Barbies. So it just kind of, you know, made me uh, maybe a different girl. I did have a chatty Cathy. I do remember that. This is a series of four uh, magazine clippings from a 1993 Country Living catalog that um, that is all about the, an office party. And these are the players in the office party. This is a pocket called Farmhouse. Here we see a retired couple. They bought this farmhouse in Columbia, South Carolina, and there's a little bit about the house in there, and they are restoring it to make a bed and breakfast. This is Sandy, and Sandy, again, is one of our fashion models. Um, you have to think about that career and the... Oh, just the, the gravity that it would put on a young person to be beautiful all the time. And that's how Sandy's feeling right now. She, she's kind of tired of the glitz and the glamour. She's tired of the glittery um, fingernail polish. She is developing a coolness about her. Um, her fire is gone. But in that coolness, she is discovering sides to herself that she never knew before. So she's kind of... Um, she's detaching from the world and she's growing cool, which is not a bad thing. This is a vixen and we've got this picture of her, this picture of her mama who was a vixen as well. And this guy is a spy. So we've got a spy, we've got a vixen, we got a mama that was a vixen. Mm -hmm. That's the story right there, my friends. This is a pocket called Different. This is Donna and this is David. David married Donna because she was different. She just wasn't like other women, and he loved that she wasn't like other women. But then, like, she had kids, 
and she's still sitting in the corner smoking cigarettes um, as her children are totally out of control. She doesn't cook. She doesn't work. She doesn't mend the clothes. She might as well be a gypsy. This is a pocket called Smitten. And who has not been smitten by a kitten? Yeah, you just take that one from there. This is a pocket called Summer. It is a really beautiful scene of an old cabin right here. So boats right here. I just love that summer scene. I love anything that has to do with summer. It's not summer here at all. Not even one tiny little bit. I think I'm losing some light. And it's what? Two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm losing some light. One o'clock. There we go. This is a pocket called Amazing. This is Amelia, and Amelia is writing a botanical book, and she wants to publish this book not under a pseudonym, but under her name, in a time where women did not do stuff like that. These are two fashion models. They have left the fashion model business. They got them an old Dodge van. Um, when he asked her to marry him, she said yes, and they bought an old Dodge van, and now they just travel the country doing good deeds for people. Here is our fashion model right here. She is powdering the nose of Prince Charles at his investiture. This is a bit about the Civil War. We see some soldiers here and a bit of um, 1870s ephemera in the back. This is design. Um, this is um, Daniel's stepmom. Now, Daniel's father is an absentee father, so he's really left alone with his stepmom all the time. Well, the two develop a very close relationship. They really do respect each other. And what they want to do is start their own design firm, which is not going to make David's father very happy because he also owns a design firm. This is a pocket called Honor, and it is just about honoring your mother, honoring your father, honoring your older family members. As my mom gets older, I tell you, I honor, honor her more every day because she, I mean, like at 80, man, she's like, they just bought, um, like all these snacks that they take to the nuns um, at a local convent in, in, in my little small town. So, I mean, like she has gone, gone, gone all the time. And sometimes she gets super tired. So I really honor her dedication to um, to her. She just helps other people. I cannot describe this. She helps other people all the time. It is really an amazing, you know, just testament. This is a pocket that says Mighty Dog and it's about all kinds of little pets. This pocket says adore. I love the imagery with the people like hiding their faces with their hats while they're kissing. I think that's just so sweet. So we don't have any PDAs there. This is uh, called the Country and Wine Cellar. The Country Wine Cellar. Uh, this is Miss Catherine, and Miss Catherine runs the country wine cellar, and she just loves it. She loves her business. She loves wine. Her um, her forefathers came over on the Mayflower, and she has managed to run that that family business for hundreds of years. And she is the last of her line. So, and she's not married. She's got to get married so she can have some sons or at least adopt some sons to carry on the business. Okay, my friends, that is uh, the end of our story story pocket flow time today. I hope you have fun with the stories. I hope that you create your own. Just remember these are going in the shop today, but I am not mailing anything until December the 27th. Thank you guys so much for your kind support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.